All right. So another uh, week with Coach Bo at St. Ambrose University. How's everything going today, Coach? It's going good, man. It's going good. Just, you know, getting getting ready for this weekend. Um, kind of picking up the pieces from last weekend and trying to get better at wrestling, man. Yeah. Same, old, same old stuff, you know. Can't complain. So let's talk. Let's talk. I haven't talked to you in a couple weeks yep. here now. I know Rob uh, met with you last week, but let's talk about last week, last weekend, uh, what you had going on, uh, how the wrestlers are doing health wise, mentally, um, and what you got coming forward. Yeah. So, I mean, last week we wrestled William Penn. So then against William, you know, William Penn just didn't, it, it was rough. You know, that's a rough loss. You, you, you know, 25 goes out gets the job done, but, you know, kind of squanders away a, a major gets taken down like three times in the third. Um, that may, you know, he gets the major, the duels tied, they still went on criteria, but, um, you know, so all in all, you know, I thought we wrestled, I didn't think we wrestled the best, you know, it's like 25, we, we miss a major 33, we get a forfeit 41 goes out and goes get a tech ball, right? That's awesome. 49 goes and picks up a ball. So we're up 20 to nothing. And then right. 57 gets beat in a position that he's never really felt before. That happens, right? You just get in a, you know, you get cradled. You've seen the best guys in the world. That's a cradle that David Taylor hit on Jordan Burroughs in the U S open finals a couple years back. Right. If you've never felt the position and there's people that are good there, right. You just gotta, you know, so we've gone over that position. So he gets caught there and gets pinned and 65. He'll even tell you he didn't, didn't wrestle his best match. Um, you know, we didn't wrestle well there. 74, we get pinned. 84, we get a good win. Um, wins nine to two. It's like, man, go get the major. Go get the major. You know, so if eight, if 25 and 84 can get the major, duel's over. 97, get taken down with like three seconds on the clock. You don't get right. taken down, we win the duel. Um, and then heavyweight, his first match in two years. Um, been, really hasn't been you know he had been on the mat maybe three weeks two and a half weeks um gets first takedown and then kind of was like deer in the headlight moment a little bit like oh man so um and then he you know he just can't get pinned gets pinned they win the duel um so i just wasn't wasn't happy with the fight you know top to bottom um you know again like kind of going back like 25 if you get the major you know the duel's tied 84 right that's a good win you win 92 you know, something, find a turn, cut him, go get the major, you know, something, we got to do something there. Um, 97, yeah. don't, you know, 97, don't, don't give up the takedown, right? You, that kid right. hasn't gotten to your legs all match. And then he gets to your mat, gets to your legs with like nine seconds left. It's like, dude, do the same thing we've been doing. Take a stall call, go out of bounds, right? Let's win in overtime, something. So, you know, it was just, it was just something that we kind of went back and just match situations. We just, we got beat on match situation stuff. Um, so. And those are of, all, co those are all coachable moments too, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, we took, we took that and then we went into the weekend and I thought we did a, a lot better, you know, top to bottom, but um, I mean, they're, you know, all these guys are freshmen or this is their first year wrestling at the college level. So it's like, even if you're up 12 to two, these dudes are still coming, right? They're, they're going to come after you. Like, 25 was a perfect example. We have a major. We had the major going into the third. And we ended up winning by four, I think. Maybe even three. I don't remember off the top of my head now. But, I mean, we had the major going into the third period. And we're yelling, go get one more. Go get one more. It's Barry, right? He gets one more. I think that ices it because now that kid, he kind of, he starts trending down. Now maybe we can get a turn and get a fall versus, you know, mix a pinner. Let's go get one more takedown, get on top, and let's go bury this kid. Instead, that kid gets a takedown, cuts us, mixed feet stay flat in the mat. That kid gets another takedown. Now that kid's thinking, okay, I'm back in this match. And he, and you just saw the trajectory of it. Like that kid started taking off and Mick started fading. It's like, dude, go, you got to smell blood in the water there. Um, and I think that duel or that match kind of encompasses the whole duel. It's like we were doing really, really good. And then we just kind of fell off a cliff. And they started kind of flat. And then when it was time for them to take off, they just hit the ground running and they, they took off. Right. So it was good. You know, it's learning moment. You never want to lose a 24, 23 duel. Um, you know, you don't want to lose that duel, but 
ultimately at the end of the day, I think it'll be, we'll be better for it, but yeah. Yeah. So still uh, grumpy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> On a lighter note, uh, uh, coach uh, John Tron is uh, probably has a uh, best dressed man of the year. He's challenging, he's challenging the bow tie. Is that it? The, he looks like such a goober. He even said afterwards, he's like, I can't wear a suit like that and then us lose. He's like, then it just makes me look like a weirdo. <laughs> so, like, no, dude, I loved it, man. I love that stuff. You know, you got to you gotta let your personality shine through a little bit, right? Wrestling coaches were so, right, you get a lot of coach speak and you get a lot of, right, wrestling coaches just kind of have this mystique about them. It's like, man, I love to joke around and have a good time. And, you know, Coach John's the same way. And it's like, you got to let your personality shine through somewhere, right? Especially in like, especially like in a dual situation right there where it's a tight duel. It's, you know, we lose 24, 23. It's a tight duel where, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on and he's over there wearing a Christmas suit. Like that's fun. That's fun stuff. So, you know, it just kind of helps keep the mood light. I love it. Yep. Yep. And I think, I think that's what the wrestlers need to do is just go on there, relax and, yeah. And uh, the thing I always hear from, you know, Penn State is have fun. We, we yeah. always have fun, whatever we do. So if you're not having fun, why are you doing it, right? This is literally what I tell every guy before every match when I corner them. Just go score points and have fun, right? Scoring points is fun. Open up, go score points. Let's go have some fun, man. We, you don't do this at the college level if you don't like doing it, right? I know there's sometimes like – at the young level, even like middle school, even in high school, it's like you do it because you're good. And there's like, ah, and then after this, I'm going to be done. But it's like, when you're at the college level, you don't do it because it's like, oh, I'm good at it, but I don't like it. So I'm going to keep doing it. Like, you don't do that, right? You have to really enjoy the sport. So you have to, there's an element of fun to it already. But then as a coaching staff, it's our responsibility to make it fun, right? Wrestling's hard. So you got to find those, those moments where you can have fun and kind of you know, you're not necessarily competing against your opponent. You're kind of competing against your teammates and yourself to see how good you can be. And that's kind of the mentality you got to approach it as. So I love that answer. That's how I try to look at it. I love that. Great, great answer. Um, so we're coming on uh, what, what most college students call a hell week, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, think, I think I heard that my daughter said 24 hour uh, quiet time starts Friday. So yeah. Um, what do you got coming forward with the wrestlers this uh, this week with uh, uh, finals coming up for a lot of them? And how do yep. you prep them going into the Christmas holiday? Yeah, so, I mean, this this Friday we got Grandview. Um, <laughs> there, there's a reason why they're the number one team in the country. Um, they're good, and they're bringing their guys. So it's going to be – we're going to see if we're ready to fight. You know, it's that's going to be a really, really big challenge if you want to be the best guy in the country. Well – you got the best team in the country who has the best guys in the country coming into your home gym. So, you know, we're right now it's, we're focusing on that. You know, that's the first task in front of us is let's get through Grandview. And then kind of after that next week is, is, uh, is finals week. Um, finals come first. So I'm telling the guys, you know, we'll, we'll adjust practice, practice schedule and practice times. You guys got to, final at four o'clock. Okay. Let's get a workout in earlier in the day. You know, finals week will be practices will be a lot different. Just it's crazy, right? You might have a, you might have a final at eight, 10 noon and four. I mean, it just kind of depends on how your, your finals get stacked up. That's how it always seemed like when I was in college, it was like, I had all my finals in like two days. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll open it up and kind of the room will just be, you guys got to come in get a workout. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll have set practice times. It'll be a lot of, you know, you, you got to come in, get a workout, get out of your room from studying, because if all you do is study all day, you need a little bit of a break. But um, that's kind of what that, that'll look like. But then we're also traveling. We're going down to Missouri Valley for, uh, we have four duels down there. We're leaving on Wednesday. So um, the guys are actually going to, they're not going to miss finals, but if anybody has a, a final on, after two o'clock or after one o'clock on Wednesday, or if they have a final on Thursday, they won't be here. So then it's, but we'll be back Thursday night. So, all right, go get your final in on Friday, work with your professors. I've been emailing professors pretty much all day. It's like, Hey, we got to figure out times where we can get, uh, 
get these guys in so that they can get their their finals done. Um, and the cool thing is, is all these professors have worked with athletes before, so they they understand. They know they know what it's like. So everybody's working with us. So um, yeah, we're going down. We're gonna go get some duels. We're gonna duel uh, four ranked teams. You know, we got Oklahoma City, we got Hastings, Ottawa, Cumberland. So it's like we got four more really really good teams that we're gonna wrestle leading into winter break, which is which is good. You know, you can we're either gonna end the semester on a on a zero and five streak, or we're gonna we're gonna end it on a high note where we can, you know, um, roll into next semester, kind of hit the, hit the ground running and really, really do something special. So it's kind of up to the guys, right. If, if they're ready to fight and ready to go out there and go show, go show the country that they're here and they're for real. Um, I can't do it. I know, I know we're capable, but I'm not the one that gets to wrestle the matches. So, um, we'll find out. That'd be really exciting. I think, uh, it'd be an opportunity for you to also get your boys, uh, battle tested before uh second half of the season comes along they yeah. also get to see some of the top wrestlers like you mentioned in the country so um you know it's going to give them that taste of what do i need to do to get to that next level i think you mentioned that uh with your uh 25 pounder you got to see that in the tournament a couple weeks ago yeah um what what does that next level look like and what do we got to do to get there right yeah and like i said i mean i've said it before so a lot of times it's it's nice to feel it right yeah, you got you got Matt Robertson in the room, who's a hammer, who is as good as anybody in the country, but in the room's a little bit different than out out in the competition, you know, out competition. So um, actually, really getting to feel it is a uh, is a good thing. You know, Friday we're gonna feel it, um, and then it's not gonna get much easier after that, right? It's like like I said, we got four more ranked teams that you know our next five duels are all ranked. So if they're, if our guys are thinking that, okay, we can go down to Missouri Valley and maybe, maybe find a team that's a, a first year program or a team that doesn't have a ton of ranked guys and we can get a good duel under us. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's not how this works, man. Week in a week out, you have to wrestle the best guys in the country or you're not going to get better. So that was kind of the, the goal going down there. It's like, I know those teams that are down there and they're good. And they're coming to, they're going to come fight. So it's kind of just depends on what, what your mindset is going into those matches. So I'm excited to see where we're at and end the, end the semester on a high note. And then, you know, kind of leave the, leave the guys, give them, you know, a good 10 days off where they can let their bumps and bruises heal up a little bit and then come back and kind of full speed ahead second semester. So make sure that weight don't get away from them too. Right. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's why we're bringing them back a little bit early. You know, we got, I think we bring them back on the 29th and our first competitions back is on the 8th after, after break. So we get a, you know, and they're not in school. So, you know, we can, we can do a lot of stuff throughout the day to kind of one to get, which I'm really excited about. You know, I've, I've never been around a school where we have a winter term. I don't think any of our guys are taking winter term classes. Um, spring semester doesn't start until like the 24th so i mean we have a month of good training where we can get you know you can instead of just having our practice at four o'clock you know we lift in the morning and we got to practice at four o'clock we got a lot of opportunity throughout the day to come in here and get better versus just that two hour gap um so i'm excited for that you know get a nice little training cycle in four weeks of hard training where we can I think we can start closing the gap on some of these guys. Like I said, you know, we get to go feel them. So it's like, okay, hey, you guys felt that. Now we got to start closing that gap a little bit. So I'm excited. So we're coming on the second half of the season, Coach. Uh, what are yep. a couple other wrestlers that we can start watching now uh, that you're starting to see develop in the room, uh, making that next step in, at the college level? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Mick, you know, he's come a long way. Um, man, that kid's tough. You know, everybody knows Matt Robertson. Riley Woods is really starting to turn it on. Um, we knew he was going to be good. As soon as he got to the room, we were just like, man, this kid, this kid just has a different work ethic. He's just a hammer. He's starting to put it together. Um, you know, still making some freshman mistakes, but I think you're starting to see less and less of them during a match. And he's starting to recognize, like, he comes off the mat and he recognizes it now instead of me having to go, hey, this situation he's just he comes off the mat and he's like man this this and this i'm like oh great right 
you're starting to recognize, you're starting to recognize that there's that growth there. So he's, I think he's poised to have a breakout semester. Um, Diego Machado is coming a long way. Um, again, kind of the same thing. It's still making those freshman mistakes, losing to some guys that maybe he shouldn't lose to, but it's also, he's recognizing where he's getting beat and we're working on those positions where it's like, I don't have to go, Hey, Diego, you struggle on this position. We've been beaten this position three or four times. It's today. He did a workout this morning. He goes, I struggle getting cradled. Okay. Well now let's work on it. Right. We just had to change a little, little technical things on his inside stand up So guys will come over the top and cradle. Right. Stuff like that. Um, Chris Bridges had the best weekend of the season that he's had so far. Um, even though he didn't place at the don't open, he finally had his, I think he, he's starting to see it and recognize um, what, what he needs to do to be successful. Um, he kind of wanted to wrestle a square stance and go get inside and try to move guys that way. Well, dude, when that kid's moving his hands and his feet, he's faking, he's in and out, he's popping shots off, he's dangerous. So I think it kind of, and that's what he was doing in the room, but then it wasn't trans, translating out to the mat. Well, this weekend, I just kind of said, hey, we're, we're throwing caution to the wind. We're scoring points this weekend. And he had the best weekend of, of the season so far. So that was good to see that he started opening up. Um, Dylan Miners is, I mean, that kid's tough, man. Hammer on top. Um, starting, to, starting to develop a little bit more on his feet. Um, still got a, you know, still got a little work to do on bottom, but I think, you know, we got a handful of guys who are, uh, who are training in the right way, you know, and you can see the results on the map. But I mean, I think up and down the lineup, you know, even if you go 74, Jack, he's getting, he's getting better every single day. Um, he's just overthinking wrestling. He's making wrestling too hard. I think um, this, I actually had a conversation with my high school coach. I'm going to go off on a little rant right here. I'm sorry. But I had a conversation with my high school coach yesterday. We were kind of just talking about when was it that you realized, like, when did it click in your head? He asked me that. He goes, when did it click in your head that, like, wrestling is not that hard? And I was like, hey, it was when I started coaching. And he goes, it, absolutely. It's like, we, we as wrestlers, we try to overcomplicate things. I mean, really at the root of it, wrestling is not, I mean, it's hard because you have, you're trying to do something that another person's not wanting you to do. Like that aspect of it is really hard, right? You have to be in shape. You have to be strong. But if you look at it on a technical standpoint, wrestling is really not that difficult, right? I hit a post high cross. That's not a hard thing to do, right? But we try to overcomplicate it sometimes and overanalyze it and overthink it. Well, what if they do? No, it's like a lot of times, dude, just, just pull the trigger and go. I know that. And that sometimes that's hard in itself, but we overanalyze and we overcomplicate things. So with Jack, we've kind of taken a step back and tried to just simplify it as much as we possibly can. And I think it's start, you're starting to see, it's like, okay, he's starting to kind of figure it out. He's trying to, he's trying to take wrestling and make it into this, this huge, huge thing when really, dude, we just need to put you in this little box right here and just simplify it. Right. We don't need to give you a million things. Let's just give you four or five and really simplify this. Cause once we get this stuff down, other things are going to start coming in, but we're still keeping it simple. So I think uh, it's starting to it's starting to trend that way with him, and I think you know I think we got a lot of guys who are opposed to kind of start having some breakout performances. Excellent. All right, um, I really don't have a lot more today to talk about. I think we covered a yeah. lot in just a short little bit, Coach. Um, anything else uh, that you want to touch on or that's coming up? No, man. Just uh, thank you guys again. I love doing this. Anytime I get an opportunity to talk wrestling is. I'll jump at that for sure. I appreciate everything you guys do and um, looking forward to the rest of the season. You know, this is the, this is the part of the year that, that I love doing is winter break when all the other sports are at home where we're in the gym grinding and it's cold outside and nobody else is around. That's when champions are made. So this is uh this is the time of year where I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So thank you guys Excellent. again. Excellent. All right. Thank you coach.